Hi, this is AJ4UU, and I'm about to do a demo on JT65. We start the program here, and the first thing we're going to do is go up to Setup, and we're going to put in our call sign. We're going to put in our grid location. We're going to select our input device. So this is where your radio will come into the computer. Your output of your radio will come into the computer here. And your output device is your computer speaker output that will be going to the radio. And you want to enable automatic sampling. It will automatically adjust those numbers. Uh, you can set your repeat transmit count. I keep mine low in case I walk off and forget. Um, that way I'll only transmit the same thing twice. And then I send my CW ID with the default 73 or a free text message. And then I save all my decodes in case I forget to log uh, contact. I can go back in to all the decodes and I can recreate the log entry. And this is the folder where it will all be stored. And we're going to go to rig control, push to talk. If you're just using a COM port, you would put in COM01 or COM whatever in there. Uh, if you're using Vox, push, uh, select the Alt uh, PTT method. And it uses Vox on your radio. Alternatively, if you're using Ham Radio Deluxe, you can enable it and then set whether you're using version 4 or version 5. And if you're using Omni Rig or Commander, you can set those also. This is for uh, reverse reporting. You put your call sign in there and then your optional antenna if you want. This is where all your macros go. Comes with all those default frequencies set over there and those default message definitions there. And then you can set your own frequencies. You can put whatever frequencies you use the most. Set them up in there. I've got 60 meters in there. I haven't used it yet, but I wanted them in there because I'm not sure what the frequencies are without looking them up. So I put them in there so I have them. And then here I have all my uh, default, uh, or not default, but all my um, special macros. And this is if you want to change colors, defaults work well. And I don't know what the diagnostics window does, but it shows you where everything's, when it loaded, program loaded up and all that, everything looks good in there. So save your settings, close the window. All right, before we uh, turn the radio on, we need to set what frequency we're going to be operating on. So we right click in the window and Go down and select the frequency. I'm going to go on to 20 meters and see what's on there. And now I'll turn the radio on. Alright, I've turned the radio on. You can see we're getting some audio in now. And you can see up on the screen, uh, you can start to see some of the blue. Our levels are a little high. We're going to need to go adjust those. It should be zero uh, when there's no signals on the screen. So go down here, right click on recording devices. And go on 
under the um, external mic. That's what I'm using. I don't have a line input on my computer, so I'm using the mic input. I am using an attenuation pad between the radio and the computer. So now we go down to properties, go to levels, and you can see I got uh, about mid range and, and 10 d dB boost. Um, I'm going to turn this down and see how it, ha how it goes. still reading pretty high even at that level so I'm going to turn the microphone boost off and now the levels are too low so we're going to bring them back up Whoop. turn the microphone boost off and then turn this back up needs to go up a little more should be about zero when there's no signal on the screen and there's no signal right now we're right at zero so that's perfect as you can see now we got a signal coming in and it went up to one So we close out of that. Also, we need to make sure our computer is not outputting any sounds, otherwise they'll go out as audio. So if you have a sound scheme selected, make it, uh, change it to no sounds. And then play Windows startup sound, we don't want that either. That's in case your computer reboots in the middle of it, uh, the, you know, your radio's on and you're computers listening and, and it, the computer reboots automatically sometimes um, you won't have the startup sound being played out over the radio I just sped this up to uh, real time now. And as you see, we got a CQ from K5USF. We just double click on the green bar and it automatically populates the fields. And I, I'm, gonna, I'm uh, at 10 watts right now, so I'm going to put 10 watts in there. Of course, when I double clicked, uh, it started transmitting. And it's transmitting at zero at uh, that's a frequency, so it's 78 hertz below center frequency. And his report is uh, 9 dB. Transmits in progress. It's almost done transmitting. Okay, so we're done transmitting. idle mode right now and at the top of the minute the uh, it goes back to receive mode so if he heard me and he'll be coming back to me right now we have to wait a whole minute well actually really only uh, about 49 seconds to see if he comes back with my call sign or not
it's decoding right now. All right, it came back with my call sign. And I double click on it again, see my signal. He got he read me at uh, at uh, negative 5 dB, so I, that's too much power. I'm going to reduce uh, my 10 watts down to 5. And I change it right here, go to 5 watts. I already changed it on the radio. So I'm transmitting again, about halfway through my uh, transmit sequence. And I'm giving him his report. Almost done here, about 49 seconds past the minute. It should be done. Okay, switch to idle mode, and it waits for the top of the minute before it starts receiving again. The uh, transmit receive sequence is uh, on the minute. You can transmit on the even minute or transmit it on the, on the odd minute, either one you want. Now normally they would come back with a roger, 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 if, and that just means he received my report. Um, I got his report of 09 and I told him that. and He gave me my report of 05. The R in my report acknowledges that I received his 05. And he should come back with a roger, roger, roger here. And he did. He came back with a 73, which is fine. That indicates that, that he got everything went through. Now I'm going to send my uh, free text, 5 watts, through my off-center fed dipole. And thank you, 73. So that's going to go on my transmit. One thing to note. You can only type 13 characters up in the free text window. You can't type anything in the transmit generated window. That's an automatically generated uh, field there. So you can't put whatever you want in there. end of my transmission. It's sitting idle and he might start a CQ again or might not. We'll see what happens. Nothing going on this sequence. Oh, somebody came in late. Either they started their transmission very late or their timing is way off. Uh, it's very important to synchronize your clock with a good known standard. Um, you should only be like milliseconds between uh, whoever you're talking to and yourself. Right, so I clicked on the log QSO. I'm put in 5 watts. Everything else should be filled out automatically. You can put your notes in there and uh, save it. All right, so there was K6 SID was uh, calling CQ there, kind of right in the middle of where we were talking. Probably he couldn't hear us. That happens uh, when the conditions are poor like they are right now. Well, that's it uh, on the demo. Hope you enjoyed it.